As a case intake triage specialist, once I log into the system, I see my home page. On the top I have my navigation bar where I can quickly access various parts of the system. In the center, I can view high-level metrics across my teams. I can view events by priority. The total number of adverse events, year-to-date, and various other key metrics. This dashboard can be set up to be role-specific so if I'm a medical reviewer logging in, I would see relevant metrics to my role. On the right here I can see my cases I need to approve for the day. I can also see my notes I have regarding my cases or any other work-related items. As a case intake triage specialist, once I receive my case information via CIOMS, I can upload my file right over here. The CloudBiz Pharmacovigilance or PV solution can ingest various file formats such as PDFs, E2B, CSV, just to name a few. Once I upload my file, the system would take me through a couple of steps before intelligently extracting the data from the file into a case record. This is the case I've been working on before. By using Medra and Hoodrug dictionaries, product and medical events can be automatically coded. Along with this, event labeling with CCDS and local labeling documents from product data repositories can be set up to meet specific requirements. Additionally, I can view associated literature, lab data, adverse events, and more related to this case record. To see how the related record looks, I can simply click on one of them and view the details. For example, right now I can click into an adverse event record related to this case I'm working on. There are various checks that can be added to ensure the data is not deleted. For example, to ensure this adverse event cannot be deleted, I have a checkbox here where I can mark this adverse event as inactive. Once I do that, I see that this adverse event is marked as inactive with this red box. On the right side here I can quickly see a pie chart that depicts my org level adverse events across statuses. I also have the ability to track when I requested and received my source documents through this inbuilt system tracker. Once I've confirmed that this case information looks good, I can then run it through an internal approval process, and then eventually send it over to the case processing team. As a member of the case processing team, I can review this case further and considering I have my coding dictionary and subscription set up on my end, I can ensure everything in this case is coded accurately. Some of the coding can be automated and some will need to be manually reviewed. I can leverage an add-on service feature. LitBiz, for the management of individual case safety reporting or ICSR. This feature requires an additional subscription and can aid in medical literature monitoring. Moving back to the case record, once I, a member of the case processing team, reviews everything here, I can then route this case to medical review. The medical reviewer can record an event analysis here with the narrative all in one place. If I look at this narrative, I can see that this was automated in chronology by using simple out-of-the-box templates saving me tons of time from manual narration. As a medical reviewer, I can add in my comments in this tab here. And if I need to communicate back to the case processing team, I can send out an email from this section on the right. Now I'm ready to submit to the regulatory authorities. The solution comes with record locking functionality prior to submission and automatic scheduling of case submissions, ensuring the data is not modified once it's ready for submission. Audit trails automatically log which fields were modified, who modified them, and at what date and time, and also the before and after value. This ends the case intake process and I can then view metrics through insightful dashboards. For example, as a sponsor, I can view a dashboard which provides me metrics across my cases. I can choose to set up a dashboard subscription where the system can send me automatic email notifications, with the image of the dashboard attached. As long as the data lives in the system, I can slice and dice it in any which way I want.